official start of summer and here to help you and your family stay safe is Dr. Atai from Laser Clinic. Dr. Atai, good morning. Always good to see you. Thank you for having me back. I tell you, this sun stuff, I, I think about it all the time that my kids are out in the sun. We're getting out in the sun. Summer is back and we have to protect our skin. Absolutely. You know, the best thing about the summer is the sun. Unfortunately, in San Diego, we suffer from May gray and June gloom, so it doesn't seem to wear off until the afternoon. But even in this type of cloudy weather, yeah. you still need to protect your skin because UVA and UVB rays still get through the clouds. I've been trying to tell my kids that. And I said, just because the clouds are up there doesn't mean that you don't put the SPF on. It's really, really important. When you are buying your sunscreen and your sunblock, what is the, the ingredients and the things that we're supposed to be looking for? You know, the most important thing about sunscreen is not the SPF per se. You want to buy SPF 30 or higher. 30 or higher. And you want to make sure that it's either a mineral or physical block. What okay. that means is it should have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Those are the two ingredients you should be looking for. Is that the same for kids as it would be for adults? It is. Okay. It is. And I think that's important. You know, there's a lot of questions about what do I apply for the kids and, and what products would be beneficial. So the ones that you use for the kids are a little different than what you want to use for for adults in okay. general. Speaking yes. of the kids, because I know <laughs> that they're here and I, I see like the bubble is going. This is exactly what it's like to have kids in the summer and then you want to get sunscreen on them. You get them out and you're like, come here, Shaden. Yeah. Come here, mommy, to put more sunscreen on you. Yes. How do you properly Have put fun. sunscreen on a kid and do those sprays work? Do you actually rub it in? Do you do it in wet skin? So what a, a wet skin is, is not going to work. Okay, right? got it. No wet no, skin. No wet skin. The aerosols I want you to avoid altogether. Really? Remember, aerosols in general are not good for them to inhale. Okay. But there are good products that are sprays that are good for the body that you still have to rub in. Got you know, it. You, but as far as the difference between them, you want to use lotions for the face. Okay. And sprays for the body. Lotions for the, and you really rub that in. You have to rub it in. And sprays for the body. It's just easier. Yeah. Right? But yeah. it's not just spray it on and walk away, yeah. you have to rub that in. But that, when you say spray, we're talking about like the pump? Pump. Pump spray rather than and the aerosol, aerosol spray. Yeah, Okay. absolutely. Higher the SPF, like is it really? Beneficial. So remember, it's negligible from SPF 30 to 100. Yes, there is benefits, but the protection that you're getting is between 92 to 96%. Okay. There's no such thing as 100% protection against UV and UVB rays. And then how often are we supposed to be reapplying? Like, Technically two hours. Okay. Two hours. two hours. Listen, there's no such thing as waterproof sunscreen. Yeah. It doesn't exist. If it was true, yeah. <laughs> these planes wouldn't be flying overhead. <laughs> That's true. That's true. No, if it was true, then you would only apply it once in your life and okay. you wouldn't have to apply it again. That's true. Right? Very true. So it's not waterproof. It's not waterproof. You need to reapply. It's water resistant and it's usually anywhere from 40 to 80 minutes of water resistance and then you have to reapply okay. to these kids. I think I have to go home and open my like sun uh, block little bucket and yeah. go through and reassess all of this to get ready for the summer months. Is it true that these expire or no? Can we use them? They do expire, so you definitely need to check the expiration date. Like okay. if you look at the bottom, it tells you what oh, the like expiration, expiration date. date. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah so you want to, not all of them have it, but usually okay. if it's exposed to the elements, and what I mean by heat, you're going to, it's going to break down. Yeah. So they're usually good for a year before they, they expire. Okay, time for you to go check and get ready for the summer. We're ready for the summer. If you want to get more information, FoxSiteSanDiego.com. Click the little scene on tap, Dr. Atai. Thank you for being Thank here. You. Thank hey, you. Thank you, kids. you bother me, kids? <laughs> No, I, I, <laughs> no ball. No, high five, same thing. We'll be right back.